Hello and welcome to our daily dose on our 50 day journey to physical fitness, spiritual fitness, financial fitness. And I pray that for you and your family that you will be fit in every one of those categories. We're looking today at the one year Bible reading in the New Testament, the Gospel of John chapter nine, beginning of verse one. It says, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a blind man from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, it was not that this man sinned or that his parents sinned, but that the works of God might be displayed in him. Then in verse four, he says, we must work the works of him who sent me while it is day, for night is coming when no one can work. Now, there are a couple of interesting thoughts here. First of all, the disciples came from a theological position that sin equated to this man's condition. And we know that that's not always the case, right? We know that sin does have an effect uh, on, on, a, on our physical being, but that doesn't always transpire. And Jesus said this guy's condition was not because of sin, but rather that the power of God may be displayed in him. Interesting. You and I may be facing something, going through something that has nothing to do with anything except that it's an opportunity for God to manifest his power in our lives and to show himself strong and mighty. So think about that. What you and I are facing right now might be God's opportunity to reveal himself powerful and mighty. Then Jesus said something very interesting as well. I have to work the works of him who sent me while it is day, for the night comes when no man can work. That requires us to be sensitive to the season that we're in and realize that the opportunity that's present may not always be there, so we have to do the work of God while we can. So take advantage of that. While you can, work for God, because the night will come when we can't work anymore for him. Let's pray. Father, I pray that you would keep us sensitive to the timing and season that we're in. Help us to realize that what we're going through right now is a temporary phase and that you want to reveal your power in our lives. In every way, may you reveal your power in the lives of those listening to our daily dose today. In Jesus' holy name, amen. May God richly bless you.